All right, hey, what's up, guys? Playing my winning in winners round three match. The audio. Uh, winners round three match. <clears throat> Not sure what my opponent's playing. I'm playing Zoro Pod. Uh, so let's get into it. Gardvor. Oh, haven't seen that in a while. All right, well, we want to be aggressive. I want to attach the grass to the wind pod. I think we go like this here. Grab Lele. <clears throat> yeah, I'm going to attach the grass now because I have it. I want to ideally attach it. Um, so we're going to get a Bridget. Bridget, we're going to get to Rua Zerua wind pod. Attach grass to wind pod and then pass Bridget Rua Zerua wind pod. Check my prizes real fast. All right, so Rangaroo's good in this matchup. Uh, Delinquent's good in this matchup. Guzma, only one Guzma in deck. That's kind of bad. I'm not going to be able to probably get as aggressive as I want on my following turn. I would ideally want to, like, knock out a Ralts, but we'll see what we can do. Hopefully he doesn't play Delinquent and have a Stadium card in his hand, and he has it right now. That would be great. <clears throat> We'll see what he's got, though. Turn one, second more. Take it. Oh, that's not a very good... Yeah, so he's playing Sylveon Guardi. Wow, that's a throwback right there. All right, I'm not too worried about it. This would be a great KO if we can get this off. That's a good top deck. If not, KOing the Eevee is also fine. Ideally, we knock out this Ralts, but once again, KOing the Eevee is fine. Or I can play. Trade the max potion puzzle is more important. Um, trade max potion. I'd also like an N this turn. Some kind of supporter. Okay. So we're going to commit to knocking out the active then. Attach active and then play N. Um, been all good. I'm going to leave the bench space open in case I want to go Lele Guzma next turn. Um, so we're not going to. Yeah, we're not going to mention this to rule. We're just going to take the, the knockout on the active and then go from there. Parallel City is good. We have a Field Blower or Delinquent in case he Parallel City's us. We also have the option of Del Parallel City plus Delinquent on him. Um, I guess, I mean, the any hand Hammer there would have been nice, especially if, we, if he gets out the Gallade this turn. Gallade would be very annoying to have to deal with here. Um, we'd send up Wimpod and hope to get into the uh, Elisapod. Yeah, Gallade's going to be super annoying here if he, uh, if he gets it off. Um, it's a little loud. There's N. I'm fine with that. My hand wasn't like stellar or anything. It had, it had it had options, but you know, it wasn't like a broken hand or anything, so I'm not too worried about it. About the same thing going on here. Uh we'll probably end up sycamoring. Is that gonna be that mumble for 40? <laughs> Classic. Alright. Um so yeah, we're probably gonna sycamore, especially after that. Oh, this actually I didn't check for Cynthia. Yikes. We could check right now. Cynthia is the best play here for sure. No Cynthia. Well, I'm getting punished for not checking, fully checking my prizes. Um, could go with just grabbing a Bridget then and discarding it. Yeah, that's kind of a that's kind of a yikes right there. Yeah, we're just gonna go with a Bridget and Sycamore it away then. I, don't, I really don't want to end him. He didn't have like anything going on. So ending him doesn't sound great. I don't care if I have to get rid of one puzzle for it. So we're just going to get a Bridget here, get out of the deck. Would have much rather not bench the Lele, but whatever. I'm going to attach this to here preemptively. Uh, I definitely want to get a little support out this turn, um, and I want to find a way to deal with... Uh, I want to have an option to deal with the... Um, <clears throat> what's it called coming out? Potentially coming out the... Um, wh what's his name, man? Uh, Gallade. I want a way to be able to deal with Gallade in case he comes out. Uh, yeah, we'll Evil Soda right now. What's a pod? Next game, I'll check my prizes. Um, great. Ultra Ball. There's nothing to Ultra Ball for at this point, really. So, we already have, like... I mean, we'll trade this Orc next if we don't draw anything worse. Um, I think I would rather trade away the Grass Energy. And I think I'm going to go ahead and lock up his bench to three. 
doesn't always do a ton against guard four decks, but I'd rather have it out there against him than him get the option to parallel city me. Um, now he has to find like blower plus parallel city if he wants to parallel city me. So I'm fine with this right now. Audio is still a little high. I usually have it like here. All right, that sounds a little bit better. Waltz comes up. If he goes to Gallade, we have the we have the answer. Um, we also just want to prevent Guardi. If he actually goes to Gallade and I find a Guzma, I will actually Guzma KO the Ralts. Um, because that means if he wants to do anything productive on his turn, it would be um uh Guzma knock out a Zorak, and then once again I can just GX the Ralts on that turn, or GX the Gallade on that turn, and then he's just like out of everything. So yeah, here, I have the Guzma. So if he gets Candy Gallade here, we will um is going to go save it. It seems like he whiffed once again. Yeah, he's just having a rough go of it in general. There's a Curlia. I'm not scared of Curlia, though. How heavy of a Curlia line? At least two Curlia. Good to take note of. Probably KO with a fresh Zork. KO this with a fresh Zork. KO with a Lele, too, actually. Um, I actually want the option to set up the fourth Zork. Could have just benched his Rua there that turn, but... I mean, I want to leave the, the option for the Lele. To put the Lele in play is definitely better. I guess if he gets Blower Parallel City, though, I'd rather have a Zorak in play. So we're going to KO with this Zorak. Because um, if I do it with the Lele, and I use Lele active, then if he Parallel Cities me, I have to ditch a Zorak, because there's no way I ditch a uh, Glissopod there. And we just hit him with the Beating. <clears throat> Second, another Guzma. The Guzma off the prize is actually one of the best prizes I could draw there. It allows me to stay aggressive. Uh, all right, take game one. And we're headed into we'll head into game two. I'll let him challenge me. He challenged me on the first time. Um, he'll be going first, but same deck, Guard War Sylveon. I'm not afraid of the matchup. Um, actually, the way these decks kind of match up, it's possible for us to like just actually run him out of resources. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and check my prizes on this one. Oops. Uh, let's see. There we go. Once again, Guard War Sylveon, I'm playing Zoropod. Let's see. I'll be going second. I want the coin flip. Have him go first. I assume he wants to go first. I don't know why he'd ever want to go second. If he requests going second, we can restart the game, but I don't know why he'd ever want to go second. Um, I'm going to open the Mewtwo. Um, it allows me to kind of protect my turn one starters. Maybe this was actually... Well, I have the choice band, so even if he does go with the Sylveon early, I can just punch him with Mewtwo choice band. Actually, that's pretty good. It's a Ralts. If he attaches the Ralts, I can punch the Ralts. Um, we'll see. I'm actually so I'm curious about what kind of counts of stuff he plays because he is playing the Sylveon, which means he has to cut down on some stuff for sure. He just doesn't. You don't have room for everything when you play the Sylveon in here as well. Um, so he might not be playing Parallel Cities. He might be playing like a low max potion count, something like that. Maybe no max potion even. Uh, that's not very good though. Um, and also because he's playing the Sylveon, I should pretty much always expect to turn two Gallade. So I really want to be able to handle that. Like if he gets a Sylveon off, I should expect a Gallade coming out uh, almost immediately. Um, and then I have to deal with that. It's not the worst thing to deal with though. Uh, if I can get the GX attack, I can just like hit it twice. I can also knock it out. Like, knocking it out with Mew X isn't that big of a deal. Okay, so he also plays Ramoraid, um, which means he plays Octillery. All right, so we're going to bridge it. I might just go triple Zerua here. Is that right? <sighs> or do we want the option of the Wimpod? I, can, I would like to set up four Zoroks. That'd be pretty nice. Draw a ton of cards. A ton of cards. I need to think for a second. Let's see. Let's see what's prize. Let's do that first. DC, Ultra Ball, Ultra Ball, Max Potion, Choice Fan, Mewtwo, Zerua, Bridget. One grass. One blower. I just missed, I had to miss a lot of stuff there. One grass, one blower, two ultra ball. One grass, one blower, two ultra ball. I'm, I'm blanking here. Not good. Yeah, I guess we mix it up. What else am I prize? One grass, one blower. Grass, one blower, two ultra ball. I'm blanking so hard here. Oh, do I have puzzle? I have puzzle. One grass, one blower, two ultra ball. Blanking really hard here. Oh, 2DC. 
One grass one blower, one ultra ball, two ultra one grass one blower, two ultra ball, two DC. Two DC kind of sucks. So then we definitely want to get one pod out because we have low DC count in the deck. Good ultra ball now to play around. Yeah. Let's just do it now. It plays around um, Parallel City. I don't know if he plays it, but I'm not trying to mess with that. No need to mess with it. Um, I guess if he plays the Lincoln, we get screwed by that, but whatever. Grab the Sycamore. Sycamore's pretty good here. Could attach. No reason really to attach, though. So we're just going to pass. I don't want to make it easier for him to kill my Mewtwo if he gets like a Candy Guardy out. Um... He just didn't go after Sylveon, so his deck's going to be pretty clunky here on out, like with all the Sylveon pieces in it. Is he going to just about to discard a bunch here? No. So he plays Max Potion. That, that. Good to take note of. See what he has, though. I ideally just want to KO Ralts here. All right. Hmm. If we draw into a Guzma here, that'd be a sick KO on the Ralts. I'm down to trade away the Choice Band and see what I get. So this is an instance where like holding the lay like potentially could have been better. Um potentially. Not always though. We can trade puzzle too. See what we get. I was playing around Parallel City there. I have a hard time believing he somehow fit it. Oh, that's another puzzle. That kinda sucks. Or another yeah, another puzzle. That kinda sucks. Oh well. Um, we're just down two. Could have attached a rainbow here, actually. Ah, the rainbow there would have been better, actually, I think. Now that I'm thinking about it, I think the rainbow on this would have been better, way better. Uh, that's a yikes. Do we want to take this knockout now? Because, like, the first impression here would have been super clean. Um, it plays around, like, everything that he could do. We're just going to take this knockout, I guess, sure. It, like, it, we first impression, and then if he goes Gallade, like, if we do this with this, then he can go Gallade this. Um, but anything he would do the, to the Elizabeth, we could be, like, play around fine. But now if he gets Gallade out, oh, it's going to be rough if he gets Gallade out here. We can still win, but it's going to be hard. Be a rough situation to be put up against. See what he's got though. Could just hit it with Mewtwo for the turn, like that'd be a reasonable answer to that. Of course, he might just brick like he did last game, and just get out no, no Gallades, no Gardevoirs, just a bunch of Rolts being sent to the slaughter. Cynthia here. Yeah, I should have gone with the Rainbow. I had so many outs to find Golisopod, like I was almost for sure gonna find it, and I need to get Flowstone either way. Ditch the DC. I'm now down to puzzle with the trades. That was also greedy trades. I should have just sycamore to what I what sycamore off the start as well. I was greedy with that as well. No need to get greedy. Um, yeah, I was greedy for no reason. It's gonna be the the god abyssal hand for one into rare candy or ultra ball into a galley. That would be very unfortunate. But we we don't see that. All right, it's gonna be the retreat. Nice. That's what I like to see from. Cardboard decks. Yeah, I got super greedy on the on the the, the the first two trades. Like I was never hitting that combination that I wanted to hit. I mean, I could hit it, but it's like oh, it's so unlikely. Like I don't think it's worth playing for that. Go get another one and trade again. Seems fine. What do we get rid of? What's about Wimpod? We want the Mew to match a Gallade. Like, that's fine. We want Mew to match Gallade. Get rid of... Huh. I mean, Riding Speeding into this isn't terrible, but it's not great. Do we ever want to end here? Not really. We could just get rid of the N. Two Ns left. Ultra Ball away. Uh, I want to keep this Rue in case we lose this Zorark. Yeah, but I don't want to get rid of anything. Wimpod and trade the Glissabot, I guess. Keep the... Oh, why am I keeping Ranguru? We don't need Ranguru, do we? Yeah, uh, Ar Ranguru actually seems pretty good. Maybe I'm over... Maybe I'm overvaluing Ranguru here. Probably am, actually. Alright, so it's just gonna be a beauty. That's unfortunate that we weren't able to find an energy or a float some, but... I played super... I played so greedy early on. This game should have been so much cleaner. I should have just sick him immediately. Trading... Trying to trade into the Guzma is, like, super greedy. Um, and almost never ends up working out. Um, yeah, I should have just chilled, uh, Sycamore into trades and then go from there. I got super greedy for no reason. We'll see if he has, like, a good answer, though. 
Well, it's pretty good. Choice Band is also pretty good. He needs, uh, what was it? Five, six, so he needs a fairy energy. And then he can knock me out. Hopefully this is for a Curlia and not another candy. I would really want to, I really want to KO this Curlia. So we're going to KO this Curlia, hopefully, and then figure out a way to deal with the Guardi. I'll work on that on the next turn, though. Pass, please. Yeah, we're trading a Rangaroo for sure, I think, next turn. I don't know why I kept it on toes for so long. If I, ah. Oh. Mm. So he one-shots us. Man. Guardi draws well. It's beaten. He's not even actually drawing that well. Uh, we made some stupid mistakes early for sure, though. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. Um, yeah, we send this up. Interesting. Well, let's start with trading. I could get off like a really sick play this turn. I doubt I'm going to see it. Or I doubt I'll draw into it. Possible we get it though. Oh man. What are we trading now? We always E hammer. We always E hammer, so let's just do that. We always bench the Rua. I think we always bench the Rua. It's still possible I could trade into what do I need? I need DCE. Trade of Goose. I still kinda want to delinquent him, but no, we didn't get there. I mean, Countercatcher DCE. Yeah, we could have still drawn. Maybe I'm playing too greedy again. Not terrible, though. Pretty good draw, actually. Especially if it sticks and we actually kill this Guardi. I think we're, we're going to lose this game. I played so greedy in the early turns for no reason. I think we're probably going to lose this one. Hopefully, we'll be able to get out the next one. This is going to be a tough matchup, though. Depends how we draw and how he draws and how the games go, really. <clears throat> we can still catch him in the. We can still catch him with a couple plays. I really want to do like a counter catcher. Like if I'd gotten counter catcher DCE, uh, I could have gone delinquent away the stadium. More Pokemon on my bench. Counter catcher Octillery, knock it out, and enhance Amram, leaving a zero card hand on the top with a, a, a Guardi that cannot get my active. This knocks me out. That's gonna hurt. <laughs> I think this knocks me out, right? So now we have to end him, swing end, and hope he whiffs. He doesn't have anything set up. He's down a ton of energy. Yeah, so it's swing end, hope he whiffs. Do I have Mewtwo left? No, Mewtwo's gone. There's the end. Man, I could have two more puzzles in my deck. This would make it way easier. I could actually KO this with Mewtwo and then go from there. And we're ending. Maybe I should just bench the Mew, actually. Well, we got him back. Yeah, we probably should just bench the Mew because we actually need the Pokemon. Ideally, I knock this out with Lele, actually. All right. Could still do like a counter catcher enhanced hammer. I mean, we're there actually. We don't have the enhanced hammer yet, though. I still want to save the counter capture as an option, I think. So we're gonna do this. I think I just take the Guzma trade the Guzma because I want to end again, like counter catcher N. Like, we're on counter catcher for a while, so I can trade this Guzma. But I want the Lele in case I need to KO this. But I could get Enhanced Hammer. Oh. Could establish Wimpod at the very least. Can go like this. Oh. Lower. Yeah, establish Wimpod. Bench. Man, that first that first the first sequence of plays I did was so poor. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to win this. We know there's a puzzle in the deck. There's two DC in the prizes. Was it? It was double Ultra Ball, double DCE, Field Blower. I already forgot. It's not relevant anymore. Double Ultra Ball, double DCE, Field Blower, something. So there's Gallade. So Energy Guzma, I lose. If not, I can still win. I can actually just ride a speeding that next turn and then clean this up. I could counter catch a right is beating this plus delinquent him to zero potentially. Um, but he, yeah, if he just has energy Guzma here, I lose. Um, 
think he probably has it with how fast he's playing. Yeah, that should be game. Yeah, if I played the early game a little slower, I would have had more options with the puzzles. Instead, I did those two early trades trying to get greedy for the Guzma. If I'd hit the Guzma, it would have been great. But if I whiff the Guzma, it kind of sucks. And this is the kind of sucks end of that. All right. Game three. I'll go first on this one. Yeah. Hmm. I guess I'm not too worried still, though. <clears throat> I'll go first and get a good setup. It's a fine matchup. So some, so if he plays it slower or has the option to play, so he maybe just didn't have the option there because of um, just gonna find max potions or something. That's like that's how he gets to choose to play it slower is if he has max potions. Um, but it didn't look like he had that option really. Game three. It was just here. I don't know where he's at now. Still waiting. If I just, oh man, if I, I just keep going back to it, if I just played the game, or like if I just didn't go for that greedy, trying to find the Guzma, I just went for the Sycamore and Smack is active. I think that would have been the better way to go. Also should have attached the rainbow instead of the uh, DCE. All right, let's play game three. We're over, we're done with game two. Could have played it a lot cleaner. We're in game three, I'll just play this cleaner. All right, going first. Oh my gosh. It's not the worst thing ever. Ugh, it's not great. Could actually do an early attack with a Ranguru, I guess. He mulligan. Hopefully he mulligans. Oh, I kind of want to get, like, hopefully a second mulligan out of there. This hand's not great. It's not unworkable, but we can... Yeah, we get, like, the turn one parallel. Um, Yes. Okay. Draw. Mm. Yeah, so we're going to go. Bridget. Uh, all right, so that's it. One Zorak prize. Let's do this. Ooh, one Evo Soda prize. Dark one Evo Soda. Just gonna draw blanks again. One Zork, one Evo Soda. That's how do I only get those two out of one counter catcher? One win pod. One choice ban, and then something else. One max potion? Yeah, one max potion. I might actually double puzzle for Ultra Ball for Lele next turn. I don't think I'm going to bench the one pod yet. Well, that would suck to not have one pod in play as an answer to Galleon. But we have to just be aggressive. We have to just be aggressive. <sighs> yeah, I guess one pod doesn't come down here. <laughs> So Parallel City is great here. Um, so that means we're going to have to use, just use Mew as our answer to Gallade. Um, if we just give up the Glissapod early on, Mew is just going to have to be our answer to Gallade. 
Yeah, yeah, we could double puzzle for Ultra Ball. Doesn't matter. Depends what our top deck is. I think we'll probably be double puzzling for Ultra Ball. It's possible we'll resource management turn one anyway, so it wouldn't be the worst thing ever. Um, we'll see. Draw. That's a pretty good top deck. Could trade away Wimpot first and then decide. It could get worse, but hopefully it doesn't get that much worse than what it already is. Alright, it did not get much better. Grr. Now we don't even have Mew as an answer. We'll have to draw a double puzzle to have the other answer to, answer to that. That sucks, actually. Oh, well. Actually, no, we could do a Cynthia here, actually. So we can take Ultra Ball this. And then we can do Cynthia or N. And we save the Mew. Because we need an answer to a Gallade if it happens next turn. So we'll get the second Lele. And we'll grab Cynthia. Delinquent doesn't work here, no. And then we'll KO this. Hopefully, grab it, find a DC. There's none prized, I don't think. Hopefully finding a DC, leaving him on one Ralts is ideal here. Um, and then we still have Mew in deck as an answer to Gallade. If he gets Gallade out. Okay, we got the DC, but no other Zorks. But we got the Mew. Alright. Let's hope he doesn't have to turn to Gallade. Ideally, if he does, hopefully we find an answer to it with Mew and N. Mew plus N, we would need a Zork as well as some other stuff. Alright, we got the third Wimpod. That's cool. Not that we can use it anytime soon because our bench is full, though. All right, please no turn to Gallade. I mean, if he gets a turn to Gallade, if we have, if we answer it, we're still good. Another alt, unfortunate. No, that's Gallade, right? Maybe not. Oh my gosh. Uh, it is Gallade. All right, at least he ends me. Maybe he whiffs energy. Oh, the turn to Gallade is just hard to deal with. And with this hand, this hand is not dealing with it. Yep. We need to get a lot off this end to deal with this. And. Turn to Gallad, man. Let's see. So we have the end, but we need to get into Mew, Zork, DC, or just Lele DC would be fine, I guess. Um, I'm going to keep the Delinquent as like a win condition. I want to keep that in deck. So we get rid of these two. I'm going to grab a Zork here. Um, I, I at least want a DCE. Even Lele into this isn't terrible um, because I'm going to add him to four. Ideally, we get Mew, knock this out, and then knock out the Rolls before it gets to evolve. Not with this hand, though. Oh, we're not doing anything with this hand. We have resource managing with this hand. <laughs> Can we trade the Golosapod? You... Yeah, not even close. Looks like a resource management, but do we just lose if we resource management? Did I miss something? Can I do something else? Retreat to... Attach it to Lele, retreat to Lele. That wouldn't be terrible. The next turn we Ultra Ball for Mew. Slash maybe delinquent him. Mm. Gosh, this is terrible. You're close. Um, like yeah, Lele DC into that isn't terrible on this turn, but we didn't get that. We could just resource management for two puzzle and something. <laughs> two puzzle and a DCE. That wouldn't be terrible. Could just retreat to Lele and pass, because then we need to pivot into the Mew on the next turn. So I guess that's better. Then we can Ultra Ball for Mew, play N. Hopefully he doesn't find another Candy, Gallade, or Guardy. Curly is fine. Not a huge threat right now. Stone, fine. Bench is now full. That's good. He could go for Guzma here. Then hopefully we stick him with the N. Um, and the N just sticks on him. There's the Guzma. So we're now... I mean, that's fine. I'm actually fine with him doing this play. Um... And then we hopefully just stick him with N and N sticks. We still need a lot though here, so we'll see how this goes. We'll Ultra Ball for Zorark again. Because we need a Zorark so we can actually cop so it has something Mew has something to copy. Um and then we'll end him and hopefully it sticks. We'll see. Not much else we can do here. All 
Yeah, so Delinquent doesn't do much because he premonitioned. No, we would Delinquent. Oh, we went Delinquent of Zero, though, because he's getting two two prizes, too. Yeah, we're actually not out of this yet. As long as we can get the Mew, the Mew DCE combo going, we're still good. Uh, Layla's equipped to attack now, which is kind of cool, too, but we probably won't do that. We get the Zork, allows us to draw more cards. Then we end him. We might need the next end after that. End to five. Not looking good. Okay, double puzzle. Okay, so we have it. So we trade Wimpod because we might need the end for the next turn. Yeah. Then we double puzzle for DCE something. Okay. Double puzzle for DCE. Maybe DCE Wimpod? I guess. That's not terrible. DCE Wimpod? Wimpod. DC Guzma, so we can kill the Curlia next turn, I guess. Or DC Guzma, yeah. So then we can just potentially just KO the Curlia next turn if he has nothing. Because we need to KO. Once we KO that, we just win the game. But if not, we have to respond with N, I guess. We have to just hope we really didn't draw anything here. If he drew anything here, we'd probably just lose. But if he didn't, we're still in it. Let's find out. Yeah, we can like Guzma right is beating KO the Curlia. And then okay, Curlia just KOs. Yeah, Curlia can KO if he hits double heads on quick turn. Pass. So we top deck this. Which means Ultra Ball is now an out. Let's trade first. Trading Mewtwo. No Mewtwo we could use. Trade away Sycamore, I guess. I think we have to go KO Remoraid now. We can KO with this, which is a little bit safer. And KO it with the Lele. KO it with Brightest Beating, I guess, is a little bit better. I think we have to go KO it, though. Yeah. Because now, yeah, now Ultra Ball is not an out off the top. It was before. So we can also counter catcher this now. So yeah, we're actually back in this, fully back in this game. If he doesn't top deck this turn. If he top decks this turn, we're in trouble. Please don't top deck. <clears throat> Give me one more turn to counter catcher KO your Curlia. So he hits us for 80. We have Enhanced Hammer. Enhanced Hammer Delinquent. All right, so we're going to Delinquent first, see what he had. No, we trade first. What am I thinking? Oh, he's trade first. Delinquent. Countercatcher that. Wow, we still can. Enhance hammer onto the DC off the Lele so he can't hit me again. Okay. Countercatcher. Enhanced hammer. The Sorak things. Alright, it's beating. Oof. It's a pretty sick comeback if it sticks. We're still not out of the woods yet. Actually, actually not out of the woods yet. Pretty good turn, though. No top tag. <laughs> I mean, if he top tags here, if I get Guzman to KO, like, what does he have? One Ralts left? Yeah, he's got one Ralts left. Let's see. Go Soda. I might actually Bridget for Zerua here, if there's any left. I'm going to play Bridget and see what's left. I don't actually remember what's left. One Guzma. So the Guzma's in there. That's the important part. Is there anything else I can do here that's better this turn? I mean, if he has DCE choice band, he hasn't knocked me out. So I can try to speed him for 100 damage. We just try to speed him for 100. Three cards out of eight to find the Guzma to chase this Lele. Out of puzzles. Orangaroo in there doesn't do anything. That's a Sycamore. Once again, still, if we get the Guzma, we still win. Guzma just actually just wins us the game. Um, can max push in this turn, then another DCE. Can switch all of our Pokemon with this. Hopefully he doesn't find a Ralts here. That's all I'm afraid. If he gets a Ralts here, that'd be really annoying. Okay, no Ralts. Perfect. Two turns to draw. The um, we can actually end him this turn as well if we whiff the Guzma. 
we get the goose and we just win. Awesome. Sick. That was close. Oof. All right. That's a sick comeback in game three. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good day and peace.